So we've looked at the normal distribution before as being able to describe different types of distributions and things. We're going to now start moving into um, delving a little bit deeper with it and doing some calculations. So first of all, what are we talking about when we say what's a distribution? So we are imagining we had some data that we can plot as a dot plot and the distribution is where are those dots spread out? Um, where are they appearing on the graph? What sort of shape does it take? All that sort of information. So what is it when we have a normal distribution? That means that when we plot those dots, we expect that most of them will be somewhere around the middle. Well, we might have a few that are out on the edge, but there'll be a lot less than what was in the middle section. And when we get a shape like this, that's called a normal distribution and it creates a bell-shaped curve. Now on the tail ends there, it never quite touches the axis, but it gets really close and close enough for us to um, make the call that it's, it's uh, finished and at the end there. Those are called the tails. At the top of our bell-shaped curve, we have the mean. That's the um, average uh, calculated by adding everything up and dividing by how many you've got. Okay, now, the properties of a normal distribution. We have something like this. This is a, a nicely drawn normal curve for us, where the mean is right there in the middle. That's referred to as mu. That's a Greek letter, and it's always used to refer to the, the mean. Okay, now, this distance here, that's one standard deviation away from the mean. Now, standard deviation is a measure of spread, and it's given the Greek letter sigma. So that position on the scale will be mu plus sigma. So we are one standard deviation above the mean. On the other side, it would be mu minus sigma, one standard deviation below the mean. Now, in reality, when you're calculating things with this, you would actually you would work out what the mean is as a number and what the standard deviation is as a number. Now, this one up here is mu plus two sigma, so that's two standard deviations above the mean. And down the other side, mu minus two sigma is two standard deviations below the mean. This portion in the middle will always cover 68% on a normal distribution. So if within one standard deviation of the mean, we will have 68% of the data. So that means the probability of picking um, a, a piece of data from that normal distribution that lies between uh, one standard deviation below and one standard deviation above the mean is going to be is it 68%. If we move to two standard deviations away, then that probability becomes 95%. And if we go to three standard deviations away, it's 99.7%. So you can see almost all of our data will lie within three standard deviations of the mean. The probability of something on a normal curve will always be represented by the area underneath the curve. We will go on to use that um, more specifically and do some calculations on it in the next video.